Welcome to Forex Toolshop, the number one Forex robot reviews and ratings site on the internet. In conducting back tests and optimizations, an integral part of your testing is the quality of data you're using. If you're using poor data, you're not going to have the results you're looking for. Garbage in, garbage out, as a lot of programmers will say. So how do you get good quality data that you can use for testing in the MetaTrader platform? That's something we're going to go over right now. You can start by opening up your MetaTrader platform. And what we're going to do now is we're going to show you what a inaccurate backtest with low quality data looks like. So we're going to use the Expert Advisor Moving Average, which comes with the MetaTrader platform. We're going to test it on the US dollar yen. We're going to do every tick. It's right now, it's every tick that the tester has available to it. And we're going to test one month in 2009. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to click Start. And we're going to let the strategy tester gather the data. You're going to see it's going to gather it on a few different time frames here M1, M5, depending on how much data it has in default. You see right here it's going up to M30, it may go up to even daily data. So it's going to gather this data and then it's going to conduct the back test here. You can see a graph of the balance that the system made. In the report we can see modeling quality of 50%. This is considered a pretty inaccurate back test. You want to have the modeling quality of your data as high as possible. It usually goes up to about 90%. So how do we get modeling quality of 90%? We go to Tools. History Center, we find the currency pair that we're looking for, in this case US dollar yen. We're going to download one minute data of US dollar yen. So we're going to click that and we're going to click download. So this is going to download all the one minute data available to the History Center. It's going to go to bring in all the data and it'll improve our modeling quality up to 90%. So this is downloading, you want to do the narrowest time frame, even though we ran the back test on an hour chart, you want to do the one minute data, you want to get as tight and as narrow as possible with the data you're using. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to let the history center bring in the one minute data and we're going to run the strategy tester again when the data is done important. Now that the one minute data is finished downloading, we can close out the history center we're going to restart the platform. So close the platform. Go ahead and reopen it here so that the strategy tester knows to call the one minute data. So we're going to start this back test again. So now you can see down here when it says collecting data, it'll say, probably will only say collecting M1 data. So it's using the one minute data, it's using the ticks within the one minute candles rather than you know the hour, the daily, the four hour candles, giving it the more accurate back test. So here we have a graph that looks fairly different than our previous one. A report with 90% modeling quality. This more accurately reflects the back test than the previous one we did. You notice in the previous one, the back test actually made money. The more accurate data, it's showing you know, a loss of money. Obviously, you can see the importance of this. You need the most accurate data to give the most accurate back test, and you know exactly what kind of a strategy you're working with. 